Hi everyone and welcome back to All Things Nay. If you're new or returning here and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Yes. And turn on your post notifications so you won't miss my uploads. Don't be shy. Leave a comment for me down below. Yes, I am friendly and I will comment. I'll answer your questions and we can be friends. <laughs> anyway um, so this is going to be what's in my shower video shower routine what I use for my personal shower hygiene feminine hygiene but basically what's in my shower now this basket here is a basket I use every day when I want to take a shower so when I saw this video I was like oh definitely something that I'm into so I wanted to make my own now this is a lot of stuff it is ridiculous but um I can't help myself so don't be judgy <laughs> so let's get straight into this video let me start with here because I don't have much things for here so I'm going to start with here now I am semi free form. It doesn't look like that in this video, but I am semi free form. I this is my first palm roll in the last six months, girl. So I don't do much with my hair. A good oil, good moisturizer, a good little wash, a little scrubby scalp, and I'm good to go. So I use a lemon dishwashing liquid. I know that is ghetto but it is what I use it is the truth it is what it is it gets my looks squeaky clean dries it out a bit but that is what moisturizer is for <laughs> it really gets my looks clean and I feel like it gets all the excess gunk and dirt that has been there for the past three months because I try to wash every three months and I just love it and I have been enjoying this car style so it's an argan oil with eucalyptus Right, I'll get oil with eucalyptus castile soap. I've been in loving these side by side, using them side by side. First, I used to go either or, but I do a wash with this. I wash with this, and I am squeaky clean. Love, love, love the feeling it gives to my locks. And yeah, it has been doing you well. So, love those. That is no, that is not it for here. I do have my conditioning caps in here I basically use these when I'm steaming I don't want the artificial heat to get straight di direct to my locks so I put two of these on my locks before which probably doesn't it's not really a barrier I'm not thinking about it these so tin is not really a protective barrier but it sort of helps trap the heat and stuff like that so whatever oil or mostly oil that I use in my hair before the steam I'll put this over it and then put this over the locks and then put on my steam cap moving along I did purchase this but I can't give you any review on it because I haven't yet used it it's brand new sealed smells good it's a Neutrogena triple moisture daily deep conditioner I'm actually a bit afraid to use it to be honest but I think that is it for here now. If not, oh well. Next, because it's a shower routine, let's go on to body washes. And these are the body washes I have here. I have a few more. Actually, I have a lot more. But these are the ones that I use every day. So firstly, I have this Daily Defense Pomegranate Body Wash. I love this. It's very inexpensive at Pennywise. It says moisturizing. That is absolutely true. It smells amazing. It's pink, so it makes me happy. <laughs> and I love this. It's very cheap. You get a lot for your money, and it works. So, love that. Then I do have my Tree Hot Sheer Sugar Scrub. I cherish this and I use it sparingly because I love it. It keeps my skin baby smooth, fresh feeling. It just gives your skin slip. It smells amazing. It adds extra moisture. It's just... 
definitely will be repurchasing this now if i come across something here that i don't like or don't intend to repurchase i will let you all know so everything here inside here is not a bed of roses here is that it for the washes i think so the other washes are on my shelf so moving along after we wash we want to moisturize so i have this dermacil here and speaking about not everything a bed of roses this moisturizes you for that moment in time so it will feel amazing the moisture feels great and then before you know it the moisture has left the building so you have to re-up you have to use it again so it's something that is good but you definitely have to reapply next moisturizer i have in here is my avon skin so soft signature silk with argan bath oil i love this i also have this one this is the avon skin so soft soft and sensual with argon argan bath oil love these two and i tell you these are oldies but goodies so so good so so moisturizing love love these absolutely i just add them to this so I can pump them out easy instead of lifting up these heavy bottles and then I come because I know I'll be lazy to do that some nights so I just throw them out in this pump right now I need to re-up throw them out in this pump and use away <laughs> this one I haven't used this bottle yet but I have definitely used this yeah continuing with skin moisture i have this guaico share here now this is not really for moisture this is for varicose vein it's supposed to decrease the visibility of varicose veins so i did buy this to use on my feet lower yeah your feet so um do, do i think this works a bit it does a, a bit but you have to be very consistent with it and it's not going to like make it disappear it's just going to improve as it says improve the um, appearance right so it wouldn't look as noticeable if you use this right at least that is my opinion and i did get this this was recommended by chrissy she has the blue one and she thinks it works too continue with moisture i don't know if you all know but i do sell skincare products these are one of this is one of my products and this as well so these has all the good stuff in it honey Oh, this has a mango butter shea butter this has coconut oil both of them are the same so so I just use something so I can't use this but well I don't want to because you'll get to see how glossy it is but let me see if I can use it like so you'll see how moisturizing that is and I mix these myself with all natural oil so if you're interested in that you can hit me up on my Instagram description my Instagram link will be in the description down below is that it for moisture no oh I ran into moisture boy Nivea a must a staple a oldie but a goodie you need a good Nivea in your life why not <laughs> that's basically it then again dermacil works good but you have to re-up i did purchase this one a while back for my purse so sometimes i put this in my work handbag this is the cocoa butter one it smells really really good so so good love it moving along oh look i have another wash oh but i haven't used this particular from this particular tub yet but i have used this this is from bodycology and this is their cherry blossom sugar scrub yes exfoliating sugar scrub no i used to buy this over the tea tree and i use this plenty more than i use tea tree this is a oldie but a goodie it's affordable it's easier to get than the tea tree at least for me and i just love it when i tell you all this it smells like a perfume now if your skin is very sensitive to high perfume scented skincare products 
it's a no for you but if your skin doesn't mind like mine and it just embrace things like this then you will love it it's a high perfume scented sugar scrub leaves your skin baby soft great for pineapple skin um what they call like you know when like if you shave and then you get that kind of grainy feel after honey don't say they didn't put you on because i just did right moving along i have this simple vital vitamin cream with it's a day cream basically with spf 15 in it um this sucks it's trash if you like it you can come get it you can have it here you go but um for me it's a no i definitely would not be repurchasing it actually try to get it off my hands already but ain't nobody want it i might just have to dump it honestly then i do oh i have moisturizers and skin thing jesus um this is topic clear i have a love hate relationship with this product i started using this product when i was 17 and i just started to get like you know a little acne on my skin and my aunt was like you need to use this because she was using it and it cleared everything right off so now it's like if i get something on my face i will run back to it and it will clear everything right off but it smells absolutely disgusting <laughs> it says skin lightening cream for me i don't think that it does that for me personally it doesn't lighten my skin at all um yeah but i love it this scent is just absolutely disgusting but it works and that is what we want right i also use this soap but i don't think i have any right now oh jesus so next we have the avon skin so soft firm and restore hand cream I love this. This is an age defying ham. Like, it don't love me. So. It's a corrective hand cream. No, corrective hand treatment. Age defying corrective hand treatment. I don't believe in correcting anything when it comes to do aging. With aging, I believe in taking care of your skin now so you can prevent it in the future. So, get you one of this boo boo it is very nice very nice love it it's moisturizing with all the hand washing going on now i love having it in my bag right now it's in here but i use it every day it's amazing next for moisture my what is that why as soon as i want to make a video why Farmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. I spoke about this a million times, so I won't speak about it again. This is absolutely moisturizing. Love it, love it, love it. It works amazing. Gets your skin super moisturized. It clears up dark spots, skin marks, stretch marks, all sorts of things. It's excellent for. So get you one of these. I prefer the pump, this one in the pump. But yeah, I'm thinking about it has like a huge value size. I'm thinking about getting that instead of just buying these over and over. So I might get that. Then I have this. As you all see, I haven't used any from these and the packaging is really squished for some reason. This was not opening when I bought it. I tried a million times. I even gave it to my dad to try. And he had to get a pliers to open it. So you see the condition of the cover now. I don't know what is up with this packaging but this is the second time i purchased a big one like this and um, the first one the packaging wasn't like that so i don't know if this one was faulty so i just rest it on top and i haven't used it since because i was like why was the packaging so faulty but i definitely should start using that then sunscreen you all know i believe in sunscreen i think you should use sunscreen every day it doesn't matter don't let no one tell you you're black so you don't need to use sunscreen that is the most stupid thing ever you need to protect your melanin boo boo don't let them fool you wear your sunscreen and i was watching the glam twins and they spoke about i think tips or hacks that every girl should know everyone should know something like that and they spoke about putting 
sunscreen on your hands when you're driving because you know the sun gets on your hand i was like yeah for sure so i have been doing that lately and i love it then i have my african whipped shea butter i actually don't have this i don't have it it's finished and you all know Mustafa's is closed so where am I getting this from right now I do not know but I am planning to use this in place of it and this is just a block of cocoa butter a block of cocoa butter baby <laughs> two blocks actually this is Avon again as you all realize I like Avon Avon Footworks beautiful clay mask I actually only used this once but I did like it and I don't do my foot for myself a lot. I get it done. I like getting pampered like that. I like doing that for myself, you know. Um, so I don't really use this, but it's good to have. And I, when I used it, I did like it. So who does the Avon? Good product. Then, of course, I have one of Patrice Roberts soap. This is the coconuts. I really, really like this soap. It smells so good this is what the bar looks like i think i'll be with this tonight <sighs> her soaps are really really nice i like the turmeric turmeric has to be my favorite but the coconut isn't bad then i have hand sanitizer random i oh i forgot i had this wait no i'll put it in the morning um this is the eternal high sheen spray this is the only sheen that i will put in my locks right it's it has mineral oil in it which sucks but other than that it has aloe vera jojoba oil and some fragrance it's very light and actually i was introduced to it well i get my hair dyed black and she will always miss this in my hair just a little very light after i get my hair black and um, dyed and it will be so nice it smells amazing and it's so moisturized and i was like you know what i'll put up with a little mineral oil for the sake of that <laughs> i'm contradicting myself but this is really nice oh i have to put that where i could see it then i have this they put me onto this it's healthy feet we got this off amazon oh it's a foot cream and it works amazing very moisturizing ladies we need to take care of our feet eh? and if you don't start to do it now you don't need to go by an esthetician to get your feet done you can do your feet at home you know keep a little brush or something in the bathroom so when you're in there you just stand up put up the foot and brush brush boogie and then after you can put on some of this because this will have your feet and your heels super moisturized then i did purchase this first place i saw this was on work someone gave me it to smell and then i saw it selling in tuna tuna for a dollar so i bought a few <laughs> they had like an entire basket and i bought a few because it was a dollar for one and it smelled amazing so why not <laughs> It literally smell like something to eat then i do have this these are i don't use these as much as i used to but these are like the electronic brushes and i have like change a brush head inside there i have one from connie actually both from connie so connie brand and then i have these definitely need to repurchase some more these are the clips that i sort of use just to separate my hair when i come out the bath i want to moisturize in the night i have an advil here very random and a busted keychain with these i don't really use those again i use the regular brush and hand you know elbow grease then I do have my Savlon. This is the antiseptic liquid. Anytime I bathe it out of the bucket, because I do still, <laughs> I'm putting some of this in it, period. If I'm going to soak in a bathtub, I'm dropping some of this in it, period. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to bring back the things our parents used to do first when we were small because we were good to go. So why change it? 
Then I do have this pumice stone that I never used. It's still in the pack sealed. Because as I said, I have things to take care of my feet if I need to. But I like going to get it done because I like the pampering feel. I did purchase this for my box, but I don't really like it. I won't be repurchasing it. But I did purchase it because at the time I did not see any of these. So I don't get me that good, good scrubbing that I like. But I do have a pair of the scrub gloves, but that's an issue. Oh, I don't want to go for that right now. And last but not least is this. I got this two in a pack in Pennywise. And I like this mostly to scrub my back, my entire back, lower and upper back just feels so good so I put soap ladder it sort of squeeze it and just get the back of my neck go straight down to above my glutes and yeah that is basically it got some short caps and lady stuff inside there so that is basically it for my sh what's in my shower I want to know what's in your shower because I just shared with you what's in mine what's in my shower and yeah thank you guys for Really nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss my uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.